All right, you guys, what it do? Your boy is back on the grind. One more time, your boy is back at it again, you guys. And I'm in the garage. Actually, I was just in here just doing some small tasks, some cleaning up and things like that because I'm waiting for my rear uh, seal for the transmission so I can finish installing that and then I can get that transmission fully installed and be done with that thing. And then after that, it should be ready to start, fill it up back with transmission fluid and maybe we could take it for a test drive. So, but... With all that being said, I've been trying to do some things in the meantime just to try to get some stuff done. So this video is actually going to be in regards to the armrest. I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and make a video on the armrest to give you guys an idea of where I'm going with with the uh, interior and pretty much what it's going to look like. And man, I am so, so excited to see this all come together, man. It's going to be super, super clean. So I have the one armrest in right now. And if you looked at my last community post here on youtube you will have saw that i posted a picture of my door panel and i asked if you guys noticed anything different about the door panel i'll go ahead and check that out but i'll show you here as well man i man <laughs> i'm loving it man and i'm so glad that i went with this because nobody has it there's actually one person that i actually spoke with when i seen his vehicle i was like yo that's the idea that i had and i just really just confirmed to me that I needed to do it. So I hit him up on Instagram because we follow each other. Actually, I hit him up on Instagram and uh, asked him about it. And I was like, he was like, yeah, man, I was just I was just thinking about it. And I went back and forth on if I want to do it or not. And same with me. I was like, man, do I really want to do it? And so he's like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. And so he added subtle little touches to his vehicle. And honestly, man, it set it off. There is no other vehicles Besides the truck scene, the truck scene is really popular, but not not so much in the car scene. I've, I've yet to see it in any car. And you guys, maybe you guys seen it, maybe you guys haven't, but I just think it's something totally different, especially in a Chevelle, when a lot of Chevelles kind of go with a more classic, kind of more retro look, even if they redo the interior. A lot of Chevelles that you see kind of keep that same... Um, that same original vibe per se, kind of like what I did. You know, I flipped the seats and some pieces of the interior is different, but for the most part, it's still kind of a retro style look with just a modern touch. So anyways, you guys, if you're new to the channel, definitely think about subscribing. I'll hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. Y'all, Mr. Griffith 23, working on the 71 Chevelle. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this camera around and show you guys what I'm talking about. Hope you guys dig it. Get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about it, all right? All right, y'all. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> y'all ready for this? Man, here we go. We get in the comments, y'all. Let me know what you guys think about that. Look at it close up, too. Look how it flows. It flows with the interior, the color scheme, everything that I have been trying to do. I am digging it. And again, this is just a subtle touch because I don't want to go, you know, overboard with it as well. But I just wanted just to kind of just compliment it, just give it a little bit of accent, but something different, you guys. There's something different. All the Chevelles, I don't want to say all the Chevelles, but a lot of the Chevelles are really kind of cookie cutter. There's hardly any in between, I should say. So either they are original or they go just totally custom. Or, you know, some people might put different seats in them, but still keep the original door panels and stuff like that. But there's nothing kind of like in between. Also, there's nothing that really separates themselves from a particular scheme and pattern versus one versus the other. Either they're all kind of like that TMI looking style. There might be some patterns out there that might be a little bit different than others, but for the most part, either a Chevelle is stock, which is nothing wrong with stock, you know, or, or it has that retro look, nothing wrong with that too. Like mine, I have a little bit more of a retro look with just a modern touch, like the door panels. If you look at a Chevelle door panel, it has that little piece of accent there, that silver accent. Well, we basically followed that same scheme, just kind of made it more like 3D and, uh, you know, added our little touches, changed the colors and things like that. So, uh, but I just really wanted something just different, something that stood out, but something that wasn't tacky and overbearing. So anyways, we thought this was it. So get in the comments, y'all. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really digging it. I still have the same door pull. Uh, still have the same armrest, it's just recovered. And this actually is, the only part that's original to the car is this uh, metal piece right here. So this is metal under it. And then they actually made this door panel themselves based off of 
my original and then it just went with it so yeah y'all i'm really really digging that y'all a lot but anyways what i'm gonna do is i have that one off and we're gonna go ahead and install that one that's sitting on the ground right there just to show you guys how easy it really is to get this done all right y'all so i'm gonna try to make this somewhat quick as i gotta get back in and do some work so um anyways Oh, this actually fell out too. Dang, man. These things on these door handles are always falling out. So annoying. I should actually take off my other one and check that to see if it fell out too. Um, Put this somewhere. Where did I hide the other one? Right here. All right. So all it really is, is this is the arm pad. And then this is basically the door pull. And this arm pad, it's an original one. I just had it recovered. And then this is also an original one that was also recovered as well. I think this one was, was a green. And this one, I think, was... This one might have been black or white. I'm not really sure. So, anyways, y'all, um, really simple. It's just held in by two screws. That's really it. So, these two screws, just unscrew them. And the nice thing about it is, is since they're all you know, original pieces, uh, they should have no problem uh, bolting up or screwing in to one another or matching up. So hopefully I didn't speak too soon on that. But yeah, so then after that, the screws is off and that should just pop off, hopefully. Now I did paint this and for some reason this paint is really sticky. It's not sticky, but uh, it actually stuck to this... Um, door panel fabric as well but yeah it's basically just pops right off but yeah you can see how this was green at one point so hopefully well hold on man hopefully yeah so it still covered it so that's good yeah it peeled off some of the peeled off some of the paint that's not cool and i could always touch this up i guess if i really wanted to but being that it's going to be covered anyway you're not going to see it so now this is the same style just replacing it with a new one so it should go on like so any imperfections should be covered up and yep the holes line up perfectly everything lines up perfectly and this, yeah, so this was, like I said, was green at one point. And I think I have another one, too. They might be white. I gave a, a couple, some extra parts that I had uh, to a buddy, too. There was one part that I probably should have kept, but that's all right. So very easy. They just screw in. And now you don't have to, you don't have to go to town on these, man. Just make sure they're snug. And then that's really it. Now you're good to go. So there she is. And this is what it's gonna look like against it. So, um, you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave that off. Cause these, those covers actually pop off so you can get to that screw just in case you wanna take this off for any reason. I don't wanna glue it in or anything just in case I do ever have to take it off. So I'm just gonna leave that off. Now this one always falls off so I'm going to actually glue that one in so I don't lose it since it's not covered and nothing to catch it. So that way, if the door opens and it falls out on the ground, I don't want that. So, um, But yeah, it's just three screws to screw this in. And this one's actually stripped out. It, it catches and it holds, but if I pull it like really hard, it um, it um this will actually just kind of just pop off. So I'm going to have to figure that out uh, one day. So let's... Not today, not today.
All right, y'all. So, of course, I said, oh, it literally takes like five minutes. And of course, I'm going to struggle putting it in. Anyways, the holes are like almost dead on, but they're not really dead on. And so I kind of had to put in one side first and then kind of set it into place, <laughs> pull it into place, I should say, to kind of get the holes to line up. Because when I got the door panels as well, too, I had to create my own holes and I had to drill those out in hopes that they would line up with the actual hole in the sheet metal on the door itself. So I got them close, but you know, there's always you know, slight tweaks and things you got to make. But anyways, to make a long story short, we are there, you guys, we are there. So get in the comments, let me know what you guys think about this. How does it look? Do you think I'm on to something? Do you think it looks tacky? I mean, all, all comments are welcome, but at the end of the day, I like it. And I know that's all that really matters. But yeah, y'all, when the door is closed, here, I'll go ahead and close it. The door closed. You can see how it all looks. Color schemes go together. And all the, the patterns and everything, the lines are going to flow with the seat. So everything's going to flow one direction. So this orange, thicker line, more prominent line, will be the main line that'll flow with the uh with the seats and everything so yeah get in the comments let me know what you guys think y'all i really i'm really really digging it uh you can also see their door panels themselves how they all flow okay and not only that they match up right here and then go on and continue to the back so yeah y'all get in the comments let me know what you guys think honest opinion it's all good i'm still gonna go with it anyway but i think it's different i'm really digging it i think it'll set this chevelle's interior apart from all the other ones and i'm really really liking that y'all so anyways short video so we're going to go ahead and get out of here you guys know what to do like comment subscribe share do all that good stuff y'all mr griffin 23 in a building let's get it let's go